Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to some more Halls of Torment. In the last one, we unlocked the Mark of the Exterminator by doing uh, the Ember Grounds with him and making it to Agony 3. In between episodes, I looked up what the heck a mark was because I was a little bit confused. And now I understand that we that I understood it a little bit wrong. It turns out that if we go here, we just have it now, right? <laughs> um, so we have we, the Sorceress Mark. And we also have the Exterminator's Mark. Now, there is something here that I wasn't really expecting, which is you could put anyone's Mark on anyone. Which also allows you to get their character traits, which I think are like... I don't know which ones those are. Maybe the weapon upgrades as well as the proficiencies and stuff like that, or their stances. I don't know if it's all of those or just some of those. Maybe not the weapon. I'm not sure on that. But anyways, as far as the exterminator goes, he doesn't crit a whole lot, so this is not going to be useful to me. Um, it might be beneficial to unlock more marks and find something useful, but at the moment, I think just taking this, because it shouldn't, like, all, since we already get exterminator character traits as the exterminator, it's like, this part shouldn't matter, right? It should just be a buff with this. And it would just increase our burn chance for our main weapon. Which isn't huge, but it's something. Why are they like... It looks like grayed out almost. What's up with that? I don't know. But anyways, we're going to give um, Chambers of Dissonance on Agony a try again today. And if it goes horribly, then we might consider trying to unlock other people's marks. We'll give it a try. Again, we've only beat Chambers of Dissonance once before, so we don't have the greatest understanding of it. But we are going to... Should I get Dragon's Breath again is the question. We are going to try and do the laser beam thing to the best of my ability. So if I'm trying to survive as long as possible... So what the heck? I can't actually see what... There's some new stuff going on here because we could grab new items. I'll look, try and look at it in a second. Part of me wants to take the Dragon's Breath just because we have the challenge that we need to do with it. But part of me is like, take something good <laughs> instead. I do think it's cool that you could pick anything at the start. Especially if you're trying to do like a specific challenge and the annoying part would then be that you just can't find the item you're looking for. I think I am going to go with this though. For power. We do have the little imp dude. Okay, so first things first, we should probably go grab the... The abilities. We do seem decently strong right off the bat, which is good. But we are at Agony Zero, so there is that. We have an extra reroll now. Do I still go for the doubling up multi strike? Is the question. It might be an option to double up fire affinity. Actually, with starting with this, though, it would make more sense to get multi-strike, right? What's going on here? If you are full health, you get a damage boost instead. Summon imps. Okay. Um, we'll start with attack speed. So we're only getting 2% out of this right now. So we might need to stack movement speed. I don't know if this is a good strategy though, how I'm just kind of running without picking up any XP. I mean, hopefully we'll run along the same path and so we'll get it later, but... 
This feels almost wrong. But we're already at the first one, so... What do we got? Hmm... Not good. I'm almost tempted to take XP, but I think Lightning Strikes will actually do something. So let's take those. That's rough. Uh, do we Oblivion Force? Probably not, right? Because the, our main weapon does actually have Force. Do I Oblivion Crit Chance, though? I think I Oblivion Parry. There's a chance I pick up Crit Chance. Then what do I take right now? I guess I reroll, right? This is actually something I've been curious about before. If I Oblivion something and then I reroll, do I get three to choose from or do I get four? Let's find out. We get four to choose from. That's great news. This is not ideal. Give me this, I guess, just so we can actually get the XP that we need. Give me some range. Okay, so goal is to walk back the same way we came, so we get all that XP that we missed. What are the options? Burn chance and burn damage. So this is not that good. Oh. I was gonna say this is not as good because it only applies to fire stuff. Uh, but burn chance and burn damage, I'm gonna guess, also only applies to fire stuff. Just a hunch. <laughs> Movement speed is going to be good for us, because it's going to stack these boots. I'm going to grab this right now, but we're probably going to want to try and stack movement speed as much as we can. At the moment, I'm feeling pretty good. Enemies can't even, like, slightly get close to me. Once they get in the range of our weapons, they die. But these are just the very basic enemies, actually. I'm gonna take all this XP. Ooh, they are just really piling on the good upgrades, huh? I wanna grab this XP. Do a boss. What am I gonna do here? Let's start with attack speed for the main weapon. And then maybe try and do the other upgrades later. Okay, that was just money. So... Still haven't seen where the laser beams are yet. But I assume if we look around the bucket when we get back, we should be able to maybe find them. So we're going to need base movement speed and percent movement speed. Might want to start with this, though, just so we have the ability to hold off enemies a little bit better. Here's a boss. Boss is very tanky. Ow. like a range. Okay, what do we got? Oh, not good. Guess we'll take Frost Avalanche then. Because we will get... Oh no, the Affliction thing doesn't work with Frost Avalanche. Okay, here's a thing, but unfortunately the laser beam is not going to this thing, so... Or it's not currently going to that thing. Obviously, we're going to need to get it to go through there. I don't think there's any extra nodes on the map. But we'll go grab this ability, and then we'll come back, and then we'll figure it out. As long as we can, like, find that. Like, we know that's near the bucket. So it's got to be around there somewhere, right? They're not that far away from each other. All 
right, what do we got going on? Again, I probably just want to I'll only grab the other one on that. I don't really care about that. It's almost a reroll angle. It's not giving me a lot of options, so I guess I'm taking this. Okay, so that actually doubled the... Oh, because this is based off bonus movement speed. We didn't really have very much bonus movement speed. I see, I see. What do we got going on here? We're looking for passive damage. It's got to be the Kugel Blitz. Like we get base movement speed. The base is not bonus, but the more base we have, I think the higher bonus we'll end up having because we have a 5% multiplier to it. But 5% is not very much, so we're probably going to need to wait till we have more percent multipliers. I kind of didn't take that into account, that base wouldn't count. We're almost at Agony 1, and it's actually not looking very good. All of a sudden. Um, the Spark is new, right? Like, it used to be called Electrify in the last episode. I noticed last time, but I didn't comment on it. I was like, what the heck is Spark? I just kind of like assumed that it was Electrify. Um, let's get a little health regen going already because we're not getting that lucky with our upgrades. Let's stop and kill these guys. Is it just me, or are we getting really unlucky? Do I want area this time? All these things are affected by area. That's good defense, actually. Oh, this guy is super slow. I totally forgot this guy even existed. Okay, okay, okay. So this is probably a lock this and then double pick multi-strike and because we have so many projectiles I think double picking multi-strike is slightly better than picking um like a fire affinity. I think we want the other one of these. Get some more burn ability in. Ow. Sure, I guess buff this. We need some damage done on that stupid lime. I don't really want that. Uh oh. We're in a really bad spot. Okay, I just tanked so much damage right there. I didn't expect that many people to walk up behind us right then. Um, sure, give me range. Yeah, this is now all of a sudden we could just randomly lose our revive right at the start would be just exceptionally bad. What did I even just get hit by? I wasn't looking at my character, I was looking at like stats and stuff on the right side. I don't know what did damage to me. Okay, so here's this. Um, we'll grab this. And then we'll probably want this as well. This is going to work decently because we have two different things that can spark. But first, let's get the burning stuff. So our main damage is still probably burn. So we're on the lookout. Oh, there's a health potion over here. Should probably grab that. On the lookout for the laser beams. I should not corner myself, but I want to try and kill a lot of enemies right here. 
Which one of these do I get? So both of those are good. They're much better than the crit one. Heck, attack speed. Hello. Oh, you're still alive. I totally forgot about the slime boss. And I got hit by that. Um, probably this. Okay, boosts our attack speed by 1% more from our boots. This, I guess. Okay, that boss is dead. It looks like it dropped like a wine or a bottle of some sort, container. So we'll look into that when I can circle around and get back in there. Oh, there's so much XP out here. Oh, the cubes. Oh, no. Oh, hello. Okay, we made it back. What do you got for me? Uh, memorizing? Is that the double up? I am not actually positive. Okay, we really need to work on finding... Not really. It's gotta be strength, but like all three of these are really good. We really gotta work on finding the laser beams. Oh, come on. This doesn't seem like a fair situation. Okay, we're about to die. How do I fix this? I do not know. Jesus! Right, we are just completely overwhelmed already. It is not good. At least that reset our agony counter mostly. So, where are the laser beams at? This seems like we're already probably too far away. get really tired of how these cubes move. They move so erratically. Oh my god, another mini boss, dude. We did kill a boss down there, but like, I can't get back down. I'm trying to get over there. Um, I really wanted to only grab movement speed and regen, but now it's not looking that possible. But let's reroll. That is not ideal. That is not ideal at all. What do we got here? Um, we could get Meteor Strike. Shooting them behind us. Upgrading this could be really good. I think Meteor Strike. I know that might not be the right play. But something is telling me to pick Meteor Strike. So, I still don't know where to go to look for these stupid laser beams. I didn't see it. I would have expected it to be like in this hall. Next to the bucket here. We know that there was a node down here, right? Maybe we'll work backwards off of this. So where could this node, ooh, there's a boss, okay. Well, maybe we need to deal with the boss first, actually. Again, you give me two really good choices at the same time. It's gotta be damage first, I guess. This is bad. We got lots of bosses to contend with at the moment. Which is bad because we were already just struggling with the basic enemies. Sure, make that better. Oh, the, another boss. Okay. So 
I think that means there's currently three bosses. The imps are also not great because I mistake them for enemies very often. Like my my imps that are summoned from that ring. When you're in the middle of a lot of chaos, it's really hard to be like, oh yeah, that's a friendly imp. I get that they're slightly like lighter colored, but it's not obvious enough. Yeah, I, don't, I can't like... I can't focus on all this stuff. Try to figure out how to kill these bosses. Wow trying to figure out where the heck we're going to find the laser beam is based off of the nodes that we're currently at that I could go literally any direction from because there's no lasers currently being fired. Um, I guess give me this one. Oh my god, I just lost so much health right there too. Oh, you are right here. I thought you were a little bit further away. I'm just gonna die. Like, I, I'm taking damage to everything. It's, like, impossible. There's just, like, there's no... I can't get control of the area at all. There's just enemies everywhere. Oh, no. Um... Okay, well, let's try just walking straight up from here, then. I really need to kill the bosses. I need to, like, take a break and kill the bosses. But I can't get close to them at all, because there's too many freaking enemies. What is this? I can't get, like, a second break. Oh, we got 6% attack speed from the boots. This is just ridiculous. The enemy spawns are too rapid. This map is crazy. Oh, the laser beam. Well, that's a start. Um, but I don't know what to do. about the enemies like I, I i understand how to solve the laser beam puzzle <laughs> the enemies i can't ever go the direction i need to go i'm always being forced back look at this i'm trying to go down currently There's a bit of an opening. This is surely not the right way, right? And then, like, checking is going to be so annoying right now. I think it has to be the other way. Oh my god, I just lost so much health. Well, now the only good choice is this one, so I guess... Oh, I'm just gonna die. I, I don't know what to do. It's too much oh my gosh oh this okay this doesn't give you money it just tells you how far your agony was progressed like we were already level 40 oh my ah uh, do i try again so we know that we don't need to get the mark from anywhere like, we already have the mark. I don't know what to do, man. It seems like this map on Agony is just ridiculously difficult. Like, we had burn damage maxed out for that. Effect chance maybe could have been higher. I just, like, I haven't played enough to have all these things maxed out yet, right? I guess just effect chance is the only thing that could make us stronger. 
with this character. We're just going to go right back into it and try again, I think. It's just so difficult. And it just feels hopeless. Maybe I was making the wrong decisions? Like, what should I choose instead? Should I just try the Dragon's Breath? The problem is the Dragon's Breath is so bad until you get that Dragon's Breath, like, line of fire. Is it just needles, maybe? The Morning Star seemed pretty good, too. Let's, let's try Morning Star. So, we started at the bucket. So I think if we circle around the room that the bucket's in, then you'll probably find the laser beam. This is not good, not good. Like I oblivion that again. I think I really So I think I'm not gonna go for multi-strike this time. I'm probably going to try Fire Affinity. Let's get some movement speed right now while we're traveling a lot. It'll help us get there faster so we get done with it faster. It's another reroll. Strength. I kind of just stopped to grab XP real quick. Let's continue. It's a range. I really don't know what this thing's doing. You're giving me a chance to grab the dragon's breath or the needle. I mean, needles was what I wanted to be powerful, right? So maybe as much as I want to do the dragon's breath challenge, I think I grab needles. Man, I think we'll take this. See, we could do like a early double up on a proficiency upgrade or stance upgrade or something like that. I just don't know what the best things are to use that double up on. Especially since I only have one. I feel like maybe I should farm and collect more, but... You know, we're kind of at the point where there's two or three videos left and farming is going to take a lot of time. Probably a reroll, right? Sure, grab this. What do we got here? Ah, not ideal. No fire synergy at all. So I guess give me the splinters. Sure, grab this potion while we're here. So, we're just trying to get the second ability fast, and then try and start the laser beam as quickly as possible. Maybe I should try and start the laser beam first. Because, like, it requires a lot of precise, like, checking, making sure that it's going the right direction and stuff like that, whereas... 
getting to the abilities, you just have to get to them no matter what direction you go. And then you pick them up and then you walk back, like... I don't have to aim the laser beam the correct way, go check if it's aimed the right way, and then I get pushed around by enemies, and then I can't check effectively, and... Oh, we picked up a collector. Jeez, we've already used all of our rerolls, and it feels like it hasn't helped at all. Just things that deal damage. Okay, got him. What do we got here? Um... I don't know. Something is telling me that I should try the Spirit Warrior. Because if they're on top of me, then they might protect me a little bit better than the other options there. So now we run into the issue again of, with these upgrades, do I really want to take Fire Affinity? We're going to take Meteorite Strike. Ow, Jesus. Meteorite Strike probably does fire damage, so that might work. But everything else would benefit more from multi-strike. Jeez, almost got just stuck in this hallway. I have a lot of things that, like, do damage up close now. Ah, but I'm still, there's still people getting to me. This is crazy. I wanted to, like, stand still and gather all that XP, but people spawning behind me just were not having it. just gonna double up on the multi-strike? I think so. I don't know if the soldiers can benefit from multi-strike at all, but I think everything else can quite nicely. Oh my god. I just keep getting hit. It's so annoying, actually. It just feels like there's very little I could do about it. want to like kill this horde every time I stop I get surrounded heavy attack speed first oh my god I just took so much damage Just give me some regen because it's already looking like we're about to die. Any healing in there? Yeah, there's a boss dude slowly approaching. Yeah, there's fire affinity. I guess I need to get it, but I really want to upgrade this meteor strike. I keep passing up on the option even though I really think I should be doing it. Oh my gosh, I just lost so much health right there. And I'm going to die. 
That's crazy. And all these upgrades are not good. Oh no. Oh jeez. Is this the end? Oh, we dodged. Oh, now we have an archer that we have to dodge as well. Okay, actually dodged pretty well right there. Oh, and I walked right into that guy's shot. Oh my gosh, there's so many bosses behind me. And now we're on to cube phase. We're just now getting the level 5 strength upgrade. This is terrible. Okay, one of the bosses went down, but I took damage trying to turn around. I don't know how I lived that, but I'm still alive. I want to get those upgrades. Oh, jeez. I might just be dead right here again. Okay, we killed that. What do we got? Yes, give me the flame strike. I don't really want it, but... Oh, this is not a good situation. Um, what are the alternatives here? Base damage is probably the best one for that. I guess give me this. This was not very good choices. We are just like on the verge of death constantly. This is just so bad. I just want to get back to where that ability was. Okay, give me that. I mean, we are alive. As bad as this is going, we are alive. I think I want the other one. Okay, Phantom Split probably? That one I remember being pretty good. Obviously our crit chance is going to be kind of low. Okay, can I actually get to the bucket now? Let's see if we can find the laser beam. Ah, that's not what I want. metabolism first. Okay, we're at the bucket. Um. Give me some attack speed, I guess. Alright, give me that. Give me this, I guess. Oh, it loses multi-strike. That's not good. Back speed. Range. Okay, let's circle around this room. See if we can find the laser beam. Oh, here it is. Okay. Good start, good start. So, is this correct? I don't know, we just gotta, gotta have to check. Oh, this guy. He is so tanky. Okay, this laser beam was already actually in place. Oh wait, well actually no, I... I just assume, I don't know why I assumed if the laser beam was going that it was right, but it's probably not right, right? Yeah, it is wrong. How do I go back? Oh, there's a gold slime. Um, 
I'm just gonna ignore it. At least I saw it. Okay, we're almost on Agony 2, which is not good news, probably, for me. That's not the way we want. I don't know if this is the way we want, but we'll go check. At the moment, it could be worse. You know, we got our health back. What the heck is this? I assume this laser beam is making contact with this. Doesn't look quite right, but... Get some damage and then keep moving. Okay, we did guess correctly on our first try there. This is obviously wrong. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna guess that this is right, because the other way would just be going the wrong direction, kind of. I did tank a lot of damage there, and a boss died. Would like to get that before I move on. Force and range. What are the alternatives? Attack speed. Maybe range, because I remember last time we really went into the needles, I was regretting not having any range on them. What do we got? Splinters never stop moving. And they gain damage. Spawn two smaller projectiles. That's probably pretty good. Reduce number of splinters, but they burst into smaller ones. I'm going to take this. never did use this. I kind of forgot we even had that. I think there were opportunities where I should have picked that, huh? Do we get some area? It's kind of the best thing here. Oh good, now we have multiple bosses. I assume this is not correct. I think it should have gone up. Okay, we might have a little bit of alone time with this boss right now. Oh, ow. Um, I guess give me multi-strike again. What is this? This is too many people. Oh, we did. You get... Oh, what? What do you mean? There's not more. Just give me this. Uh... Yeah, sure. Get that. Wait for 666 minutes. That's it? Surely that's not right. Um, I was supposed to go up, I kind of forgot. While I was busy trying not to die. There's so much XP here that I want. Ooh, I just took a lot of damage. I really should increase the damage of this thing as well. Maybe I'll just lock that one, huh? So I can take this. Ow! You know, we're actually, like, starting to be able to hold our own. I say as I'm about to die right here. <laughs> Kill the boss, please. Got him. What do we got? You know? I don't know what this is doing. This is interesting to pick up part of the way through a run, right? Because it's 60 levels of bonus XP. Which right now is like the ideal time to pick it up. Okay, everything else is kind of garbage. 
I don't know if this thing resets if I take it off, though. And I don't really know how it works, so I'm a little bit nervous. I think I'm probably not going to do that, but... It is an interesting thought that that was probably the best time ever to get the Jade Amulet as an option, and then also take it. Because you don't really want it from the start of a run too badly. Because then, uh, by the time you get to level 60, you would like something to replace it, and if you didn't find anything to replace it, then you're out of luck. Oh, can I grab this? Okay, time to grab this now. Oh, it's just lit? Did I miss something, or does this just... This doesn't go straight to it. That must have means that one of the lasers was already correct. What the heck? Well, let's follow it and make sure that that's actually true, because there's a chance that it's not true. I Actually, maybe once you start... Touch. No, I remember that the thing appears on your screen, but only when you, like, get close enough to it, right? This doesn't seem right. Yeah, this is wrong. Oh, there's a boss. He's dead. Okay, I almost died. Like, literally walked into one group of enemies and was almost dead. or anything anywhere. I am hurt. Okay, can't be that. This doesn't seem correct, but... Oh, it is correct. That's a shocker. Surely this has to go up, right? This probably just needs to go down. Yay, we did it. Okay. Somehow we accomplished that mission. But we are definitely not out of the woods. Oh jeez, this is bad. There is a damage buff right above us. I could get that that we might be able to fight off all these bosses. This guy is fast. You just gotta keep turning. He can't turn very well. It's his weakness. Okay. Upgrade. Swings two morning stars in a butterfly pattern. When needles disappear, deals magic damage. For each remaining pierce. It doesn't seem that good, but... Is the butterfly pattern better? I think the butterfly pattern might be more useful. Oh, there's another ability here. Sure, let's get some area go. Okay. Not a whole lot of choices here. We must, I mean, I guess we probably don't have Flame Strike upgrades. We definitely don't have Morning Star upgrades unlocked yet. That's why we're running into this problem of there's no options. Okay, but this is actually, we're pretty strong right at this very moment. Well, maybe it's just because these guys stop moving when their shield gets hit. That could be it. Ah! What the heck? How did I just go from literally doing perfectly fine to just being dead? Where's some potions over here? I'm trying to go get them.
Okay, that's a lot. That's good. That's real good. We need to get back to the crystal, though. Oh, we're gonna need some metabolism. Okay, we're back to the crystal. Let's try and not do that again. So, we could really use some upgraded items. That would be... Oh, I'm dying? I don't know where all these enemies all of a sudden came from that just, like, cut me off and did infinity damage, but that was cool. I'm dead. I don't think I get out of this. I got out of it. But, you know, it's temporary. <laughs> I don't think I actually live here. Oh, we have the revive. I thought I had already died, honestly. I'm just dead again. I like... <laughs> I can't. I'm not making any progress. It's too difficult. We did get six... 1,666 gold. <laughs> I mean, are we supposed to, like, have all of our stats maxed out to be playing on Agony 3, or on Agony Chambers of Distance? It's possible. But you'd think that I would at least be able to do something. Honestly, it seems like what we're missing, because as you get more achievements done, you get extra XP for every achievement you complete, right? It seems like I should probably do more achievements. But it's not like I'm low on achievements. I think I have like two thirds of them done. Like, what are the options? I could get movement speed to buff those boots. I could get defensive stats, which is probably not the worst thing in the world, at this point at least. You could get effect on hit chance. Area stuff would also be pretty good. Let's, so oh, I can't max that out. Okay, we'll get one movement speed buff. We'll get three health buffs. Oh, I don't quite have enough for these. We'll get a block strength buff. This was not a product. Well, it was okay. We accomplished some things. Not as much as I would have wanted, though. So, I guess we'll take the rest of the episode trying to figure out what we're going to do next time. Because I don't think smashing our face into this wall is going to be productive. I think I'd be better off trying to unlock challenges. So, sword guy. We need a lot of ring blades. We could also get the mark of the sword. Get hit a lot of times to unlock what? An item. We could get another item, the fighter's headband. But, oh, Archer, we are lacking on challenges. Maybe Archer is the guy to play with. Crit enemies 50,000 times in one run. Apply 100,000 effect stacks 
Must be. Uh, it, why is this in one run? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> it doesn't say in one run at the top, but at the bottom. And look here, I got two thirds of the challenges done, essentially. Apparently, they're worth differing amounts of XP. I don't know how they figured that when I have more than two thirds done, but less than 66%. Walk as the archer unlocks an item, Guiding Star. You think Guiding Star tells you where objectives are? <laughs> and that's why I've been so confused the entire time, because I never had that. Kill 20,000 enemies in one run, unlocks Hunting Gloves. Hunting Gloves may be a good item. Yeah, I think the goal really needs to be to just unlock stuff. Yeah, Archer might be a good one. This guy would get a lot of stuff done. Wait, this has to be done in one run? Oh, I didn't realize that. We made some progress on this. 5,000 away from that item. But this character... 500,000 burn damage. The cleric does burn damage? Okay, this guy as well seems like he could use some challenges being done. This... I know we have the item that would help us with this, but this just seems unfun. It just doesn't even give a good reward, it's just a thousand gold. Mask of Madness. Survive. Oh, right. That's a trait. Okay, who's this? The Shield Maiden, right? Yeah. Get. Upgrade for the Kugel Blitz. That seems annoying. Get an item, War Chief's Visor. Trait Bulwark. Fencing Gauntlets. So I'm, st I'm thinking the Archer is probably. Who we should try and go with first. Although this guy, because we only played him once, he has a lot of challenges that should be fairly doable. His challenges are the Hailstorm ones. Item Frost Dragon Helmet. This character we actually have the least done with. We were doing pretty good with the Morningstar, but I feel like the Morningstar is not very good on this character. And it's not going to be very good on the archer either. So we'd have to do like a grenade run. So yeah, that's kind of where we're sitting, huh? Oh, we just have to purchase items. Oh, we're very close in this, huh? Get 3,000 gold probably the next run we do. Apply debuffs, that one's kind of far away. Kill bosses, crit enemies. The archer should do this a lot, actually. So yeah, it's looking like archer. And the archer has to do the haunted caverns, right? Which... 
There's nothing really to do with the haunted caverns. These are these can be done anywhere. What other abilities do we need to use? Like flame strike, astronomer's orb. There's some things that we're missing on this one. Yeah, it seems like the strap might just be farm some stuff. Which map did we need to do? Where is it? Am I stupid? Does he not have his agony challenge yet? He doesn't have it yet, does he? <laughs> Hold on. I assume because this guy needs to do Haunted Caverns. And the guy after him needs to do Ember or whatever, right? I don't remember which one, but anyways, that was Ember. So I assume this guy's Haunted Caverns. If we could complete the challenge before it and get Agony 3 at the same time, we should double dip. And Haunted Caverns is the easiest, so I think it makes the most sense to try that. So that is what we're going to be doing next time. We'll try the Archer. And our goal is going to be to do the Agony, or hope that we're doing the correct Agony challenge, I guess. What do we got? You definitely want the Bloodsucker shirt. Movement speed, you probably would rather just have these, right? And then this is not so good. Should I grab any of these? Probably not, actually. Yeah, I feel like this isn't very... This I should definitely probably use this on the Exterminator. I don't know what this is doing, if it's doing anything. It might be doing a little bit, but... It's... I don't know, it's a tough ask. So, we'll give the Archer a try next time. I'm having trouble figuring out how, like... I guess we just need to grind, right? And if we grind, it's likely we're not going to finish that challenge anytime soon. But... You know, we got probably two episodes left of just doing stuff in this game. So next time we'll give the archer a try because we've hardly used the archer at all. And then we'll figure out what we're doing for the last one after that. We might give Chambers of Dissonance another try, but we just gave it two tries on our strongest character, or what I thought was our strongest character, and it was not happening. So... I don't know, it's it's a tough one because I have most of the damage things upgraded already, right? So the only thing that can make me stronger is leveling up faster by having more quests completed, I guess. But anyways, that's what we're going to be focusing on, quests in the next one, starting with the archer. But hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.